After sunset. So, what did you do? At the policia, I mean. I, uh, I worked as an investigator of sorts. Is that where you learned to draw? Yeah. Have you ever thought about taking up painting? You know, like, art and stuff. Uh, I haven't, um... <laughs> You'd probably be good at it. You should go down and meet up with Aldo. It's getting late. Sure, yeah. He should be at the church by now. Are we gonna watch? Where's the binoculars? Are we using the camera? Do we have the transistor? There he is. He's waiting in the church garden, as promised. Did they collect the body yet? Can't tell. Looks like there's just a smear on the ground. I'd say so. Hey, she's still at the front there. Good. I'm on my way. <laughs> Always watching, Wazowski. Always watching. Actually, should we be watching them talk? Is that trigger something if we... Hey, there's, um... Hey, hey. What was that? We are interfering with Padre. Hey. Yeah. The moment we started talking, Eusebio noticed us and made his way over. He interrupted Aldo and pretty much dragged him away. Did Aldo get the chance to say anything at all? He talked about seeing some tall fellow by the cabaret, nicely dressed. Then Eusebio interrupted him. Nothing else? Not really. Said he heard the shot right as it came through the archway. He took off the moment he saw the body. Maybe there's some mm. other way to get that information from Aldo. Yeah, with a drink. Hey, maybe Aldo tells you Sabio more. Chess? Why don't you sneak over? See if you can hear them talking. Under the pillars? Yeah. Yeah, they won't notice you. Hey, where'd she go? What? Hmm. They're talking about politics, the future of the country. No word of the shooting. Uh, we're gonna have to look for other clues for now. Finally took care of the body. Hmm. Is that a, a printing press? Interesting. I think those mechanics are up to something. This is getting weird. They're concerned about getting in trouble, about people noticing them. So they are up to something? They didn't sound like criminals. More like they're trying to hide something. Them and everyone else around here. They talked about a beggar being there last night. I knew it. They are witnesses. And they lied to you. Guess so. 
wonder why they would lie. <laughs> and I don't want to. This isn't <clears throat> getting me anywhere. And they don't want people knowing they're doing something at night time. People have too much baggage. Mm -hmm. I'll see if I can spot something. Lay low. Don't draw attention. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Whatever. I don't think there's gonna be anything else in there. <laughs> I could give her a call. Doniana, are you there? Jorge, I was hoping you'd call. Did you find the killer? Um, nothing yet. Nothing yet, but we're on it. I see. Who did your friend talk to? She's not my friend. <laughs> I'm just helping her investigate a story. <laughs> Sounds friendly to me. We contacted the mechanics. No luck, said they were fast asleep. I think I saw the lights on yeah, in there. Yeah, so did we. But the angle from my apartment Apparently. makes it hard to make out. Interesting. Melinda went and talked to Lola. She's a... Singer at the cabaret. Yes, I know her. Cute one and popular. Is that so? Even the waiter at the cafe is trying to woo her. Mm -hmm. Sly Fox. <laughs> Seeing them takes me back to my younger years. Hmm. <laughs> Noted. Eusebio said he didn't see a thing. And he interfered with Melinda when she tried to question Aldo. Father is just being a good shepherd, protecting his flock. Hmm. And what would Aldo need protection from? Who knows? But they are close. I'm sure Padre has his reasons. Thanks for your help. We'll talk more some other time. Let me know when I can come over with some home cooked fidewa. Uh, okay. Shrimp fresh from the harbor. Hmm. It's been too long since we sat down for a chat. Yeah. I yeah. Know. Thanks. I'll be in touch. Hey, this might be a good time to look for some more scooter parts. Ugh, oh, this again? <laughs> I'm telling you, this is gonna lead nowhere. You never know where a lead might turn up. Right. Let's at least look around for a few minutes. Fine. Fine and return more parts? Oh man. It's dark too. Archway. Scooter frame. How'd they do that? Don't underestimate bored children, I guess. <laughs> yep. Bored children. Uh, something in the garden. Surely one will show up in the garden at some point. This thing is heavy. Uh, which means there's going to be one more. But where? It's just too dark down there. Probably not going to be in any of the apartments. What if it's near the cafe? I wonder what happens if you don't do anything, like if you go AFK for the five minutes. But if we look in the garage, there'll be scooter parts, right? Oh. I 
think there's a scooter part right by the tree. Outside the repair shop. All right. Right in front of the mechanic who's been sitting there all night. <laughs> what were they thinking? Oh, is there going to be another one? Uh, is that also going to be like a blue part that'll stand out, hopefully? I don't know. That's a sign, not a... I wonder if it, sh if it spawns after you find one. What's the printing? Money. Propaganda? Probably not money. Um. I mean, there's a whole s of wheels. There we go. There's something next to the phone booth. Okay. Surely that's it. <laughs> the sister's gonna freak out when someone knocks on the door at midnight or whatever time it is. <laughs> Come on, Melinda. Got him. Got him. That seems to be all of them. Nice. Finally, I'll pop over to the mechanics with their junk. Tell me when one of them exits the repair shop. Tall mechanic. Thick mechanic. See if you can catch a glimpse inside while you're there. No need to tell me. Very chill. Bees, I am, I am. Solving Done. all the clues. She seemed happy. How you doing, man? And guarded. Couldn't spot anything out of the ordinary. Hmm. Let's be on the lookout for other ways to investigate them. Right. Housemate says he's proud of me. Ah, oh, why? What did I do? Tell him I said no. thanks, though. Are you there? Come in. I've been here all this time, man. And did you just call me? A stranger who fits the description Aldo gave us just arrived at the cabaret. What, really? Could it really be the same guy? Hold on, I'll call in a moment. Who'd been murdered? Some dude called the Mole. It was not Radon. On the roof. Tall guy, talking to Carmen. I think it's our guy. Yeah, the bunny. The bunny did it. What's he doing? So far only talking. But not in a casual yeah, way. Yeah, he looks angry. I gotta get out there. It's dangerous, but fine. I'll check if the door is clear. Hmm. The bouncer is keeping watch downstairs. Maybe you can slip in when he's not looking. <laughs> Get ready by the entrance. Where exactly? Um, behind the car? 
by the car to the left of the entrance. Oh, go, go, go. Wait for my mark. Come on, get there, get there. Sneaky, sneaky. He's not looking. Go, 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 go. Don't turn around, monkey Ben. Lola's apartment. In Lola's apartment? Ooh. You didn't. Are you out of your mind? She's downstairs performing. It's now or never. You're wasting time. What about the rooftop? Just a quick peek. Okay. She works here. She might be involved. Yeah, fair enough. Where is she keeping her stuff? Basil was. There, search the desk. Some papers on the desk by the wall. Good thing I still have my pocket camera. I'm going to take a photo. Come on, quickly, she's finished. Old newspaper. With a handwritten message inside. What's it say? Some meeting, time and place. Somebody has been contacting her through old newspapers. We knew that, I told you. Knew it. Hmm. I hear Are you in a sec, please? There's a dresser at the back wall. Quick. So some dude got shot the other like, the previous night. We came out on our balcony to get a bucket because it was raining and there's a hole in our roof. Um, we're in a wheelchair. And then that girl came into our apartment, like knocked on the door, and we let her in. And we've got binoculars and a and a camera and trans like a radio. They argue about leaving together. Was oh, that the waiter? He wants to go. We're in Spain in 1977, apparently. She says she's left home behind enough times in the past. Well, oh, she's having a tantrum. Oh, the bouncer's up there now as well. They left. You can get out. While you're there, how about you check the dresser too? Good call. I found her passport. Something strange. The print is smeared. <gasps> There's a printing press there. Is it fake? There's also a curious photo. A teenage boy in the middle of some people. In the mountains. The insurgent type? No. More like hikers. The resemblance. Could that boy be Lola? <laughs> what? That's ridiculous. Ugh. Why is your first reaction always to judge? If this really is her... People can't find out about this. You don't know the shit people like her go through. I didn't mean... Hmm. It's none of our business anyway. Seems clear. You can get up on the roof now. Was my drink green? No, it's clear. <laughs> it's it's water. <laughs> but there is some green on the label. Watch out for El Blanco on the way. That's funny. I've got this. That is cool. Because that's actually yeah, that's a, that's green around there on the label. But I guess you can't tell because water's see through anyway, right? <laughs> Is 
Did you hear anything on the roof there? Or were you too late? <clears throat> they went into the glass studio. Can you see a spot next to the glass from your side? Tree? Plant by the ledge. Looks large enough to give you cover. All right. Can you see what they're doing? <laughs> yeah, I saw it on the outfit when I held it up. It actually looked pretty cool. What are they talking about? Oh. They're inside. Should be safe. Head for the bush. Okay. I'll turn off the speaker for now. Be careful. They're really close. Mel. Oh, the green. Shit. Now the green doesn't want to. I wonder why that is. The tall guy. He's talking about a list. Aww. It was really good when it was working before. Seems really intent on you. Whoops. Now Garmin is telling him about Lola. Seems he likes what he hears. It's like some weird agreement. Stranger is Policia. Ah. He said they have a suspect. They're definitely discussing the night. <gasps> uh -oh. I think he left. Oh, I've turned on the speaker again. Welcome back. <clears throat> I think it's safe to leave. I'm gonna stick around a little longer to make sure the heat is gone. Did you ever see that man when you were with the policia? Never. Could be a higher up. Could be new. Do you know anything about an important list or something like that? The policia keeps track of all sorts of things. Could be anything. Judging by his clothes and this conversation, he's both rich and influential. Okay. I'm worried about Lola. There's nothing we can do about it. Hmm. <clears throat> Alright, she's free from the cabaret club. Observe the plaza. Alright. What's going on down here? Where's Aldo? Are they still playing um, chess? Yeah. Where are you coming from, buddy? What have you been up to, bees? Seems like they're making up. Emotions can be stormy, man. I hope they figure it out. Judging by that photo, her past is probably filled with chaos. Mm -hmm. Can't fault her for wanting to settle down. Yeah, thinking about it. You're probably right. I shouldn't have. Mm. There you go. I'm heading back. Waited long enough. Okay. All right. Let's discuss everything when you get here. Come on, Mel. Hurry up. Yeah, hurry up. <laughs> I'm impatient.
Three day weekend. Nice. She's sneaking already. I want to see her come up the stairs. Is she coming up? This is like the game dev in me, where I'm like, I want to see if her model actually walks up the stairs, or if she's just going to knock at the door. She not, is she? Yeah, come on. Toki. Hey. Hola, Jorge. <clears throat> How have you been? Oh, hey. Hola, Diego. Didn't expect a visitor this late. Been a long time, huh? It has. It has. How are you doing, old friend? I'm doing all right. You know how it is. Oh, where are the one on the left then in the photo? Heard you got promoted. <laughs> word gets no, around, I'm a dog. Huh? Well, word is they got sick of your crying after I was taken off duty. <laughs> Actually, once I didn't have to drag you around everywhere, the commander finally saw my potential. <laughs> what a load of crap. <laughs> I know I should have dropped by more. There's just been a lot going on at the station. Don't mention it. I get it. New responsibilities, living up to expectations. Yeah, yeah. And with the election coming up, and now the shooting. I heard you called it in. Yeah, I was in the balcony. Saw it myself. Was right there on the balcony. Took you long enough to get the body moved. What's up with that? I know, I know. But like I said, a lot going on lately. Everyone works as fast as they can, you know that. Yeah. To be honest, I was hoping you'd seen something. Anything. Mm. You know how when we work together, every detail counted. Yeah. Who's the body? Some pencil pusher. Uh, no one connected to the election, thank God. Everyone's on edge. The slightest spark could send this entire thing up in smoke. Didn't look like a robbery to me. I know. The whole situation's wrong. Mm. Help me out, will you? Please. <clears throat> okay, let's just give him everything. There's a bum hanging out in the area. Harmless fellow. Doesn't seem the type to commit a serious felony. But he might have seen something. Makes sense. This is really helpful. Anyone else? There's an elderly lady. Lives across the street all by herself. She's usually up there watching the plaza. Uh, sounds like the perfect candidate for a witness. Yeah. Doña Ana's the name. It's on the doorbell. Great. I'll look into it. Anything else? So do we do we give up our friend? I want to talk to Padre Eusebio at the church. Was he there? In the middle of the night? Hey, you ask him. I can't do all your work for you. Alright. I'll see what he knows. Anyone else? Uh-huh. So it comes down to this. Is our old mate in on it? Or if he puts it down on the in the in the book, will someone come and knock her out? Let's uh let's keep this to ourselves. No one. Woke up the next morning and there the body was. Alright. So who was the victim? Really? As long as he doesn't ask what's in the bag. As sharp as ever. <laughs> Now, we don't know for sure, but it looks like he was tied to some underground network. Use my chloroform? It's the police bid. They're one of our old friends. What, like activists? 
What do they care now, with everything changing? Stir up conflict and panic. It's their only cause. I don't have any faith. <laughs> Did you notice any new faces around here? <clears throat> Let me think. The stranger visiting the cabaret? There's this fancy-looking tall guy. Has been coming to the cabaret a lot recently. Doesn't fit the local clientele? Exactly. Wears a suit, polished shoes, the whole shebang. Don't know what he's up to, but he seems to have been in meetings with the owner. Interesting. Anyone else? No. No, not really. I see. Why? I just wanted to say, uh, I know you've had. Oh, rough. face, that's rough. <laughs> and the pain, and I can only imagine the boredom. <laughs> It wasn't your fault. You know that, right? I should have been there when it happened. It's all in the past. Ah, so the dreams about yes. the rope in our legs is obviously just bad dreams. Right. Well, uh, back to the problem at hand. Huh? Has there been anything out of the ordinary? Anything at all? Now that you mention it, I did see something strange. There's an old printing press in the building, down by the plaza. Seems like it's been printing again. How's that strange? The place is a repair shop now. <laughs> oh. All right. All right. A singer from the cabaret got into an argument on the street with the waiter from the cafe, no less. It seemed like the usual love drama. No weapons involved. <laughs> right. Hey, uh, heard anything from Ursula? No. She wrote the other day. Haven't opened the letter yet. Ah, I won't pry then. You just did. There's nothing more. Kind of want to find out what happens if we dub in our friend. If there was, I would have told you. Of course. I know that you're on our side. And, uh, what side is that? Tradition. Of course. Another visitor? Uh -oh. You're quite popular, pal. Um. Why are you going in there? Huh? Oh, hey, kid. Good to see you. Mama said to bring you some leftovers. We just had dinner. That's terribly nice of her. Tell your mom I said thanks. I thought we were going to get in trouble with uh, Melinda not coming back. Yes, Senor Jota. We'll do so, Senor. Bye bye, kid. I think it's time for me to go. It's getting late. Later, Diego. Yeah. Drop by again sometime. Don't leave me with the dust rats for too long, you hear? <laughs> <laughs> Will do, Jorge. <clears throat> Will do. Hey, hand me that bag. Jack. That was... Uh, hmm. Yeah, he seemed a little strange. <clears throat> Hope Mel is alright. It's probably best to not have the two of them meet. At least for now. Pick up food. Hey, Mel. You there? <clears throat> Should finish up for tonight. Would be best to write down what we uncovered. Write down the book. Okay. <clears throat> Here we. Here we go. Hmm. <sighs> 
fell asleep again. So much for drawing notes by hand. <laughs> I wonder where Mel went. Yeah. I'll have to take notes for now. Actually, let's take the camera instead. I hope Mel comes back with more films. Oh, soon. we're out of film. Oh, that sucks. The moment you get used to something working. Is keeping her. Oh, did they find her? Let's see. Maybe she's down there interviewing folks. There's a piece of cloth on the wire fence. Did she rip her clothes? Stack chairs close to the wall. She tried to climb out that way. She must have used them to climb the repair shop's roof. Yeah, so she ripped her clothes going over the wall there, and then got under the roof. And then what? Kids. Mm. Yeah, unless that's how she got. No, she went. Maybe she went through there, and then onto the roof, and then left that way. There's a book. That notebook looks like Mel's. Was she spying on the mechanics? Yeah, use. Went down from You're the roof, up into there, then left through. You're all right. Tore clothes, jumping down or climbing over the barbed wire, but that means she made it out. Lola knows she's in trouble. The polar fear. Mm -hmm. On now. Well, they're gonna go get the waiter. <laughs> I'm 
noise. Sounds like it's coming from the transmitter. Yeah, I tried to pick it up. Now we have to come back inside and get it. Hell, come in. That's oh, gonna be Donna. What is she up to? Are they fighting? Mel, are you all right? Hey, Jorge, it's Anna. Oh, hola, senora. Jorge, the policia are about. Yeah, I noticed. I worry that they will come here and search my home. Why, what are you hiding? They might leave a mess, but uh, I'm sure it won't be that bad. You don't understand. I've been collecting old books. Poems. Yes? Of the variety that the Nationalist Party doesn't really appreciate. Really? You? This old heart has always pumped red blood. People in my day got dragged through the streets just for owning them. They couldn't take you in for possession of the... We both know the Policia are resisting change most of all. Mm. Owning these books is not something I would admit. <laughs> unless I had no choice. Alright, we'll help her. Alright, listen. <clears throat> There's a small garden by the church. I bet you can put them in the bushes, pick them up when the Policia have left. That sounds like quite a way, and I can't walk very fast. They'll spot me. I'll check when the officers are busy and give you a call. Wait for my signal. I'll ferry you over safely. <laughs> nice. Goodness. Suppose I have no other choice. Get the kids to do it. I'll go now. Now would be a good time to point out a route for Doña Ana. First, hide behind the tree. And then... <clears throat> and then... Are we waiting Next for? place to go would be... I would have said the trash can, but apparently not. Are we just going straight there? Don't you, Anna? I know what you're getting caught. It's gotta be somewhere near her, right? First, hide behind the tree. We got that one. Have I played Ace Attorney? No, I haven't. Next place to go would be. Where's the next place? Behind the van? Hide behind the pillar. Okay. Let's see. Hide behind the cafe wall. I played Avery Area Attorney, though. That was pretty fun. Next to the church stairs. That was good. We did all the there, endings of that one. I can send her to the church garden. There you go. 
Just hide them in the shrubs. <laughs> we did it. We did good, team. Thank you, my boy. I knew I could trust you. You might want to tell you, Sabio. Just don't mention what you actually hid there. Good idea. I'll go right away. All right, you Sabio. <clears throat> now, where is Melinda? Didn't know there could be this much guts left in those old bones. I guess we're waiting for her character model to go back inside. to stop his littering. Shit. They punched him. Whoa. Why are they so brutal? This isn't right. gone now they are going to Doña Ana well, I'll call her on the radio and tell her You ain't gonna find nothing. We helped her hide the books. Stop messing up her house. I'm going to go to the printing press next. What are they doing there? They're stuck? They look like they're stuck. Hmm. 
Hmm. <coughs> Hello? Polizia? I have to look at the donor again. Ah, there we go. Yeah. <clears throat> Seems to. He gave us the thumbs well. up. All right, there we go. That's what they were waiting for. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, they're running. They were printing um, propaganda, maybe. Never thought I'd root for the people on the run, but the way the Polythea are acting. What did they find? Damn, where's Mel? Must be something interesting going on in there. Well, if they come out there, though, and find the book. It's everywhere. I could ask the kids <clears throat> to bring me one of those pamphlets. Yep. Laura? Lauren? Children. Where's the button for... Who used the phone to call them? I need to find out the number of the phone booth first. Okay. Information? Yes. I can make out the phone booth's number from here. Now, to call the kids. No, you can't. You filthy liar. Five 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 eight one eight one eight one. Let's see. <laughs> Funny stuff. <clears throat> Come on, pick up. See? Hello. Laura? Yes? Who is asking, senor? This is Jorge. From the apartment upstairs. You know, the man in the wheelchair. Ah, si! Sí. Hola, senor Jota. Did you see the policia? They went through all the houses. Also, there were a lot of papers in the street. What's going on? <laughs> Slow down, Laura. Hmm. Yes, I saw what happened. Can you grab me a copy of the Daily News? Okay, Senor Jota. And bring me one of those leaflets, will you? Will do, Senor. Thanks, kid. Heh <laughs> heh. We're clever. Who's a clever puppy dog? Knock, knock, knock. There it is. Thanks, Laura. Don't trust the false promises. Have to stay united. Vote order and tradition. A bunch of names and years? Why would anyone bother spreading this around? That's the list they were talking about. Need to make some <clears throat> sense of all this. Oh, 
What happened on the cabaret roof? Stranger wanted a list. The stranger said he was looking for a list. Did he need Carmen's help in finding it? Carmen was talking to someone who fits the description given by Aldo. It's still very vague, but could this be the same man he saw on the night of the murder? Pamphlet spread through the plaza? No. <clears throat> Why did the police raid the plaza? Oh, because we. I don't know. They think something's gone on. Why did police raid the plaza? Not because of the pamphlets, though, right? Well, they did. They were looking for the source of the pamphlets. But why uh. are they so important that the Polythea would raid an entire plaza? Because of the print shop. They found the printing press. Aha. Uh -huh. Mel has disappeared. And the Polythea. The raids today looked awfully much like... Oh, these damn painkillers. No, oh, don't, don't fall asleep. Always boy, me boy, no. Too tired. Need to sleep. 